Okay, so tonight we're gonna work on the close guard arm bar. Okay? Um, it's a very simple technique, but a lot of people they don't understand how to set up the technique. Or even sometimes they don't understand what to do when the opponent is like put pressure. Because after you get the arm bar, they start like put pressure on you, right? So we're gonna work on um, a way to climb to the arm bar. Very simple, very basic. Okay? So I'll be on the close guard, okay? Sometimes I'll be here during the fight. My opponent to be with the knees on the floor, okay? It's very hard for me to do an armbar like this, crossing the arm, stepping the foot off the, on the hips, skating to the side, come with my leg over his armpits, and then passing the leg over. Because in the fight, as soon as I do this, he's gone. Like, he, he go away, okay? So, we're gonna do uh, in a way that is really simple, very effective and you keep really tight. The first thing I need to understand here is the posture of my opponent, okay? So if he's like in a good posture, there's no arm bar, okay? It's impossible. So I can grab like this, like I'm grabbing a baseball bat, like that, okay? Pull his arm a little bit towards me, okay? And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, control his head, okay? I like to grab with this side here, and this hand right here, I'm gonna push his elbow inside, like this. So I need his elbow on my belly button, like this, okay? That's the perfect way for me, uh, the perfect uh, spot for me to go to the arm bar, okay? We're not gonna do this, because also he's gonna be gone, okay? Even though I'm blocking uh, the head, okay? I'm breaking his pulse, like this. One, it's pretty much putting his uh, face against his biceps here. Okay, try to pull straight up, Josh. He's gonna try to put the elbow out. If his elbow is out here, I can't get the arm bar, okay? That's why I do like this first. Baseball bat, pull his arm, or throw one, two. Now look, I'll jump over this shoulder here. So I'm here, I'm gonna do this, okay? I climb the shoulder. So instead of putting the foot on the hip and going, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so the inner thigh will be touching his ear. My hamstring is going to be right on top of his shoulder. Okay, again. From here, okay, baseball bat. So I can have the hand on the elbow. Pull his elbow and at the same time break his pulse. Okay, now I climb. Just like that. And you see when I climb, I open my legs together and I jump over his shoulder. And my head, my body, is going to be in the same line of his arm. Like this. Okay, this is the perfect angle for me to get the arm bar. Okay? I cannot hop over here and keep his arm crossing like that and my body like facing this way. Okay? Try to follow the same line of his arm. Okay? Over here, we go. Step one. Now I squeeze my knees really tight, okay, and bring my knees to my chest. Okay? Like this. So Nogi is very slippery. Right? Uh, I know sometimes my opponent try to take the elbow out. Okay, we're gonna work on that later on. Okay? But at first, I'm gonna be on this position here. So you're gonna feel that when you put this leg here, okay, over the leg that's on the shoulder, you're gonna feel a little bit better than the other way around. Because I feel there is no pressure of my leg over his shoulder. Okay, I feel that needs to be like this. Okay, so I have pressure. Pinch my knees. Now I'm gonna start working to get the arm bar, okay? Josh should be defending his arm, and the most common defense on Nogi is grabbing the biceps like a rear neck to choke. He's gonna control like this to defend, okay? Now look, I'm gonna go with my hand under his, his leg, hook, and when I hook, I need to keep my uh, elbow super tight and like a, it's like a hook, okay, on his arm. I don't go like this, okay, here I have no power to stretch his arm. I go like this, all the way. I pass the leg over right now. So once I'm here, what happens is, if my opponent stand up or if he stay like leaning back like this, it's gonna be easy for me to armbar him. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna push forward like this, he's gonna put pressure on me. He start like stacking me, okay. Now, with the hand that I have under his leg, 
I'm gonna reach the other leg. Right here, right on the thigh. See, I'm here. Okay, I can lock my legs. Yes, I can. You can lock the legs. As long as you pinch in the knees, okay? Put my hand here. Now look, I'm gonna spin my head inside and I drop the left side of my hip on the floor. Boom, like this. Then I'll be on this position. Now, I'm gonna super tight arm up, okay? Every time you belly down, okay, you face towards his leg, putting the hips on the floor, okay? So I see sometimes people, they get belly down like this, and they face like this. And that's so easy for an opponent to escape, okay? For example, if you have, if you have the back, and then you go for an arm bar like this, you're never gonna turn this way, okay? In Portuguese, we say that. This doesn't exist. <laughs> we say like that, but it doesn't mean nothing in English, but it means like, take this out of your mind. If you do that, you're gonna fail, okay? So you gotta rotate and put the hips on this side of, on the floor, the left side of the floor, facing always to his feet. That's when you succeed in the arm, okay? Because even if my opponent, even if my opponent keep holding your hands together, Josh. Even my opponent hold his hands together here, after I'm here, what I can do is reach his farther leg, okay? And passing the leg over me, like this. Now, I'll be right here. And from here, it's really easy for me to break the grip. I can kick the leg, kick the arm. I can go for a wrist lock. I like to do a wrist lock, okay? Like this, and then arm bar. Okay, so everything will be so much uh, way easier, okay, for you. One more time. Very simple. Close guard, baseball bat, push his elbow inside, grab his head. You can do the other way around. Yes, you can. Like this, okay? But I prefer like this. Because I feel when I go here, he can pull the elbow out again, easy. So when I use this part of my hand and push his elbow inside, it's harder for him Especially when I break his pulse, it's harder for me to push, uh, to take the elbow out, try to take the elbow out. It's harder. In the meantime, I jump over, shoulder, underhook his arm, underhook his leg. He starts to smash me, and he's gonna stand up this leg here to smash me. It's normal, okay? And now I hook the farther leg, and I spin, pass the leg over, I spin, and I get here, okay? Once I get here, if I can stretch his arm and finish, great. If I, if I cannot, reach the farther leg and pass over you. Make sure your hips is always under his shoulder. Okay, very important. You can even like lift his, his shoulder off the floor and scoop your hips under, okay, under his shoulder. So now you're here. Once you're here, I like to do this. Wrist lock. <laughs> Okay, if you don't open, it's gonna tap, or you finish in the armbar. Sometimes it's gonna grab a rear neck, as a rear naked choke as well. I like to grab here, look. Because we don't have the collar, no gi, right? So I like to go like this. And the reason I don't go like this, because if Josh turned to me and tried to escape, turn to me, Josh, come up. Uh, come up, come up. And he's turning like, he's gonna do this, go back, Josh. So it's easier for him to come on top of me because my lower back is not touching the floor. If he try to turn, turn Josh. And I have my hand here, I can put a little bit of my lower back on the floor. And I still have the pressure. So it's hard for him to come on top. Okay, stretch your legs, Josh. What I like to do here too, if they like that, I like to push this elbow here. Palm strike. Palm strike. Boom, like this, fast. Like this, and then finish. Okay, again. We go really fast. Surprise, okay? You cannot go like this because he's gonna resist. Put pressure back. So you need to be here, relax. He's gonna relax as well, and then, then you go. Finish, okay? If you grab the wrist like this, yeah, like that. You go for the wrist lock. If you grab the fingers, you grab the fingers like this. You can step your leg over his arm, his hand, break the grip. Okay, there's different ways for it to break here. One more time. 
I like to do that when I'm doing the armbar, you know, and my opponents stand up. You know, in the, let's say you, you're fighting a tournament that they can slam you after you get the armbar, right? Let's say I'm here and Josh stand up. Look, when he stand up, I know he's going to slam me. Slam me, Josh. I spin inside. Same principle. Every time you spin inside, it's easier for your opponent to uh, uh, lose balance. Okay, it's easier for you to finish the arm. My goal is to put his head on the floor after the, I get the arm bar. One, two, hook, step over. Okay? My goal, look, when I spin inside, I'm putting his head towards the bat. Okay, now I get the arm bar. You just hold the arms together here, push the final leg. Finish. Go back, Josh. I uh, know sometimes uh, you're drilling and then you have like smart partners. When you try to reach the leg, it's gonna open the leg far away. Right, open your leg far away from me, Josh. Look here. Go turn your hands together, Josh. There you go. I can start working here too. Look, wrist lock. Break his grip. Okay. Or even if I feel like worst case scenario, I can grab and start. Working to take it back. You just kick the bottom leg through, out, and then start going for the back. Just if they're really, really, really strong. Some guys are really strong, it's hard to break the grip, so you can do that. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, do me here, Josh. So you see, like, Josh, you push my elbow here, break my posture. So I can't look. Now he's there. Now I start defending. He's gonna hook. In order to put the weight on him, I cannot be with this knee on the floor. I need to stand up this leg. Press my leg. And he hook my thigh and spin. Drop my head to the floor. Josh. Boom. There you go. Now he's gonna start breaking my grip. Reach the, the farther leg. Passing over. If you like, you can hook this leg here. Hook my like this. So then that'll be impossible for you to come up. And you can break the grip and go to the arm bar. In the ways. There you go. Finish the fight. Okay? Alright, one, two, three. Just detail here. Don't grab like this. Okay? Your your fingers over like this. So you can push. When you grab like this, it's harder. Okay? So here. And uh, when you try to do the traditional arm bar like this, it's easier for your opponent to just push your head like this. And then start pulling the arm out. Okay? So when you go here, look, it's a little bit harder to, to work. Okay? Now, once you, if you don't defend the arm, if his arm is exposed here, for sure, I'll get the arm bar right here. He's gonna tap here. Once I feel he's not defending, I go through here. Okay? And same principle. When you start putting pressure on me here when I do the armbar, I need to put the crown of my head on the floor and take my back and my lower back off the floor. Okay? Put pressure on me, Josh. Look. Put pressure, put pressure. I start sliding back. Okay? I cannot let my opponent bring my knee to my chest. Go, Josh. Like this. Cannot be like this. I need to keep my heels down. Okay? And I use the, the crown of my head on the floor. And I take my back off the floor like this. And if you start coming close to me, I start moving back. So my head is pretty much like a, it's like a wheel bear, right? Wheel bear. It's the wheel. It's like a wheel, like you go like this, you understand? So you go like, you slide, you know? Yeah, like this. Go, Josh, go out like this. You see, like, you, you slide, okay? So you cannot be like this, ever. Once you have the armbar, Put your head on the floor, okay? If you stretch the arm right over. One, two, underhook. Let's say he's defending right now, like this. Okay, he's defending here. He's gonna start putting the weight, pressure. Don't try to grab his shin, because he's farther. Go on the thigh, the thigh's closer. Now I can spin. Spin, put your weight on, on his head. Now this hand here does it. Don't go under the first leg. Go over and reach over the leg. Because when you turn him, 
you're already hooking this leg. Okay? So if you try to come on top of me, I'm hooking his leg. I have time. Okay, another way I break his grip here, if he's really strong, I learned this like watch some more movies, like you know, studying jujitsu. <laughs> So he's doing this, you go right here and then do this. You know? <laughs> so you can torque his legs. So you grab here and then start torquing. And then he's gonna open there. And then you finish. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? It's the Russian stuff. Where is Alex? <laughs> you can finish like that if you want. So now just be a tissue controlling the leg over. Okay, the farther leg, you go over the first leg and grab the farther leg, turn, okay? Uh, also, if, if you have the arm bar already and they try to put the weight on you and you're already stretching the arm, try to use the cut off your head on the floor, okay? To finish, all right? One, two, three. Close guard, same thing. Control, right? If his elbow is too, uh, too much like this, okay? You must grab the wrist and pull like his hand across his shoulder. Then you grab here and then go here. Then climb, okay? Once you're here, under hook. So get the hook, under hook the leg, pass the leg over. When you start doing the arm bar like this, most of the time, if he's doing this, he's gonna pop the elbow out, especially Nogi. Like, yeah, once the elbow is out, it's over. So right away you have, you need to have this instinct here of bring your leg back just over the head and then get in the triangle, okay, right away. As soon as you lose the arm bar, and actually when you're going for the arm bar, you gotta uh, looking for that, okay? So you know like his elbow can pop out. Because my arm bar will succeed when I'm controlling here, when my, my hips is controlling this. Once his, arm, his elbow is out, I have no arm bar anymore, okay? Even if his hand is still inside, you can go back and get the triangle, okay? This is very basic. There's one thing that I like to do here. Sometimes I go here, I got here on the arm bar, defend Josh. You start defending like this. Sometimes on purpose, I don't want to stretch the arm bar. Sometimes on purpose, I grab this arm here, just his arm, and no, don't take out. And I force him to go with the hand on the floor, like that. I I I kind of like toss him to the side. He's gonna put his hand on the floor like this, and then I go here. I force him doing that. Or even sometimes after I get the shoulder only here, he start putting the elbow out. Put your elbow out. I feel like before I step over the head, I feel like he start putting the elbow. Put the elbow. I feel like that. Look. Then I just do this. I turn him, so he pulls the hand. Once he pulls the hand, I grab my shin and lock the arm, uh, lock the triangle, okay? So you need to understand the transition. I call this uh, drill, the arm bar for close guard. I call like the three brothers, arm bar, triangle, and plata. They all work together. They're all there. Once you get in the arm bar, you can do triangles or plata. Once you do plata, you can do triangles and arm bar. Once you do triangle, you can do arm bar or omoplata. So they all walk together. So once you're setting up one submission, such as arm bar, triangle, omoplata, you can have the other two, all right? They all like walk nearby together, okay? So here, I got here. I know, look, I'm looking for the arm, but I know the triangle can come. I pass, when I pass it, you, tap, you take the elbow out. Once his elbow goes out, my leg goes back over the head, right away, and then lock. And make sure when you're going here, and you're stepping the leg here, he's gonna try to stack you. Stack me, Josh, this way, right here. And take the other elbow out right now to pass your guard, okay? The way to, uh, to not let him do that Look, got here, under hook, and then uh, he take the arm out. I go here, try to stack you, Josh. Try to stack you, Josh. Look, look, the wheel. Look, another center. Lock the triangle. 
Even the triangle, you cannot let the purse on top fold you. Especially if they're big and heavy, you're gonna fold you and then you're gonna miss the triangle, especially if you're not flexible, okay? So I use this because I'm not very flexible. So I need to hold the biceps and do the walk with my, with my wheel. You understand? So every time you're doing something, you like a few steps ahead. Okay, you already know what's gonna happen. Step one, step two. I know he's gonna take the elbow out, take the elbow out. I know he's gonna stack, stack. Okay? Some people, they got the triangle here. What they wanna do? They wanna underhook this leg. And when they underhook, he's gonna stack across. They're like, and then you're like, uh, uh. that triangle doesn't work because you focus in the leg, but you gotta focus on the arm. Understand? One more time. So the drill will be like this. Step one. Step two. Step two is gonna take the, the elbow out. Take your elbow out. I grab just the top leg, the top arm. And I do this. One. Why do this? Stack me, Josh. Look. Break his posture. Start going for my shin and fix the triangle. Okay? Once I fix the triangle, you guys know what to do, right? Triangle. Squeeze, pull the head down. Okay, and finish. You guys have any questions? All right, let's work, okay? One, two, three.